Good morning, Gaudi. It's Thursday, 25th of February, and welcome to English lesson this week. Today, even. Welcome to English lesson today. So in this session, we're going to recap the beginning of the story map and learn how to use speech marks. I shouldn't be there. Might not go. So you will need your listening ears, your magnet eyes, and your speech bubbles from yesterday. So in this session, we're going to recap our story map from yesterday with the actions, and then we're going to learn how to use speech marks. Right, let's see how we're going to get on. So here's the beginning of our story map. We've got Katie and the sunflowers. Now, shall we go through some of the actions that we did yesterday? So we had grandmother, we had plant the seeds when it started to rain, uh, the rain will make everything grow. Um, Katie, we had all around mother, we've done that one already. And uh, we had who loved art. And we had art gallery. Shall we get started? So we, uh, as you can see, you've got your full stop there. So that's one little section and you, this will help you write your story tomorrow. And um, this section is when grandma's talking, and then when Katie's talking, and then when grandma's talking. So it's broken, you've got your full stop there, and you've got your question mark, you've got another got a full stop there, and then you've got a full stop. It's four sentences that we need to be thinking about. Let's start with the first bit here. So we have grandma was helping Katie plant seeds in the garden when it started to rain. Let's do that one again. Grandma was help, grandma was helping Katie plant seeds in the garden when it started to rain. Do you remember that one? I don't think we went through that one, did we? Full stop, or we don't say full stop. Let's go again. Grandma was helping Katie plant seeds in the garden when it started to rain. Your turn, I'll do the action next. Here we go. And the next part, she's talking about the rain. So the rain will make everything grow, said grandma excitedly with a nice smile. Okay. The rain will make everything grow, said grandmother excitedly. And then we've got Katie who's talking. What shall we do now, said Katie. Let's try that one again. What shall we do now, said Katie. Your turn. And next. Grandma's talking now. Grandmother, who loved art, suggested they go to an art gallery. Let's try that one again here. Grandmother, who loved art. It's not that one. Mrs. Jasper can try that one again. She got mixed up. Here we go. Grandmother, who loved art, suggested they go to an art gallery. Your turn. Well done, Gaudi. Right. right, so we've learned the beginning part of the story. Now, now we're going to show you how to use speech marks when a character is speaking. So if we look at these, who is saying these words? So in the first part, let's choose a colour. We will go with purple. Oh, good, said Grandma. The rain will make everything grow. So the words, oh, good. Who spoke those? It was Grandma. And to show us this, to show who's speaking, we use speech marks. Oh, good, said Grandma. So the words that Grandma said was, oh, good. We open the speech marks and close the speech marks. And she carries on speaking and she says, the rain will make everything grow. Let's look at the next line. 
Well, what shall we do now? said Katie. Pause the video here. Who will talk to you? will tell you who's speaking. Katie's talking. What did Katie say? We can use the clues of the speech marks of what she's saying. Open speech marks and close the speech marks. Katie said, well, what shall we do now? And did you notice you start with a capital letter and you end with a piece of punctuation and it can either be a comma, which we've got below here, or we have a question mark. Well, what shall we do now? asked Katie. Open speech marks, close them with a question mark. Let's go back to PowerPoint to show Grandma below. Here we go. Let's go to the gallery, said Grandma. So you open the speech marks. Grandma said the words that Grandma spoke was, let's go to the gallery. And before you finish, you don't have a full stop. You have a comma. OK, so you either have an exclamation mark or a question mark and a comma, said Grandma. But if she's finished talking and it goes afterwards, then you have a full stop. Right. Let's put this speech bubble into speech marks. Right. Um, let's go to new share. And I see new share, I can do it properly this time. There we go. So we've got. Go. Shall we go to the gallery? So this is our speech mark. Okay, this is our speech mark and it says, shall we go to the gallery? And we can write that first. And remember, we need to start with our speech marks at the beginning. That's better. So we can say, shall we go to the gallery? So open the speech marks. Shall we, shall, and you need a capital letter. There you go, that's better for you. Shall, capital letter, tall L's, H. Shall we go to the gallery? And look, it finished with a question mark. So we need to put our question mark in. That's when grandma stops talking. I didn't realise it was blurry out, did Shall we go to Shall we go to the gallery? That's all Grandma said. So we're going to close the speech marks. And did you notice? Look, open the speech marks, capital letter. Shall we go to the gallery? The questions. So we've got a question mark. Then we have the closed speech marks. Who said this? It was Grandma. So we could say said Grandma. But that's a little bit boring. Let's think of a different word. Do you think she shouted it? Do you think she cried? Hmm, let's have a think. We could say, shall we go to the gallery? Suggested, that's a nice one. Suggested, and we're going to ca carry on. We haven't finished writing our complete sentence. So we're going to start with a lowercase letter. You don't need a capital letter here. Suggested grandma. Grandma needs one because we call her grandma. Now we can have a full stop on the end. Open speech marks. Shall we go to the gallery? Question mark. Close the speech mark. They're the words that were spoken by grandma. And then you've got suggested grandma. So now we're finishing it up by explaining who was talking and with a lowercase s. You full stop at the end. Right, our next one. Yeah, Zazu. Right, this time we've got somebody else who's talking. So the words that are spoken, the speech that is spoken is let go of the sunflower, Zazu. Right, turn to your teddy. What do I need to start with? That's right, I'm going to start with my speech marks. Open them. Now I can write what this young lady said. Let go of the sunflower, Zazu. Capital letter because it's the beginning of my sentence. Let go, G under the line. Let go of 
the sunflowers. Let go of the sunflower, Zazu. And Zazu needs a capital letter because it's his name. Let go of the sun. Let go of the sunflowers. Zazu. And look, she was shouting an exclamation mark. And now what do we need? That's right. Close the speech marks because they're the words that were spoken. Let go of the sunflower, Zazu. Who's talking? It's Katie. So we can have Katie. How do you think she said this? Was she happy? Was she sad? I don't think she was very happy. She might have screamed at him or shouted at him. I don't think she whispered it. She's quite upset. So let's try. Let's go. Let's go. The sunflowers shouted. And remember, we need a lowercase s. Shouted. Katie. Open the speech marks. Let go of the sunflower, Zazu. Close the speech marks. How did they say it? And who said it? Now we can finish it off with a full stop on the end there. So that's our dialogue, our speech. Not in the speech box, but maybe when you're, when you're writing our story, open the speech marks, what the person is saying, close the speech marks, shouted Katie. Now, if we had, if we didn't have a question mark and we cross this one out, we wouldn't have a full stop. We would have a comma. I'm going to show you that one as well because you may not have that in your writing. So if I was to write this again and I was just, let go of the sunflowers. Let go of the sunflowers, Zazu. Now, if we didn't have an exclamation mark, we would have a comma. We wouldn't have a full stop here. We'd have a comma, close the speech marks, and we would say, wide, Katie. And again, finish off with a full stop. Let go of the sunflowers, cried Katie. And you need a comma here. If you don't use, a question mark because look, we had a question mark here. We had an exclamation mark after Zazu, and now we've got a comma. So you don't finish with a full stop, your full stop goes after the person who's talking. Comma, you close the speech marks. Right, let's see. It's your turn. I was on that one too. Now, challenge one. Uh, you've got your speech marks filled in already and I'd like you to put in the speech marks and who's talking. So you need to copy these two speech bubbles, put in the speech marks at the beginning and at the end and tell me who's talking. Challenge two, can you use your speech bubbles from yesterday like I used mine from yesterday and you need to add in the speech marks and tell me who's talking. Challenge three, you've got the same activity too. Can you put your speech bubbles into sentences using the speech marks? And as an extra super challenge, can you think of a different word instead of said? So here are a few, that's your super extra challenge. Can you use possibly the word shouted, cried, exclaimed, yell, or gasped? You choose. Gaudi, we look forward to seeing all your work on Tapestry. See you tomorrow.